When we say socio-digital, in its simplest terms, we mean that you can't understand the social and the digital as two separate things. They're always interwoven together. They're inseparable. The idea that new technologies act on society and that will determine the future is all over the place. But evidence shows us that that is wrong. That is not the way that any new technology is developed. New technologies always develop in relation to a whole range of societal processes. The idea of futures is quite unusual. We're much more familiar with thinking about the future as something that lies some distance ahead of us and trying to understand what the future might be. So we have predictions about what the future will look like and we have arguments about which prediction is more or less accurate. Instead, how we think about it in the centre is that multiple possible futures are always in play and that depends on the decisions, the choices, the things that we do in the present. So the questions that we're asking now in the centre could well have been asked at different points in history. We might go back to industrialisation, to electrification, to the internet and the spread of the web, and we could ask many of the same questions about what futures were in the making then. And indeed, I would say we should have asked those questions then because that might have resulted in different futures being made. That only underscores the importance of the centre in the present, where we do now have that opportunity to really thoroughly understand and intervene in the socio-digital futures that are currently in the making. The centre was created because there's a really urgent and pressing need to understand the socio-digital and how claims about the future of society have an effect on shaping today. So how we hope to intervene in socio-digital futures is by challenging very directly the idea that there is a single future that's already known or knowable and recognising instead that there are loud voices and big claims made about what the socio-digital future is, but those are always mobilising partial, particular aims, goals, objectives and interests. And there is no such thing as one future. The Centre's agenda is really ambitious and to deliver on that ambition, we need to bring together a whole range of different forms of knowledge and expertise. We need knowledge and expertise from across academia, engineering, computer science, from across the social sciences, and from the arts and humanities. One of the really important opportunities for the centre, but also I would say a really crucial contribution that we're going to make, is to move beyond individual studies of particular technologies in particular sectors or parts of everyday life, and to join up our understanding of what's happening in those in order to get a much broader and systematic understanding of socio-digital futures in the making.